in today's video, we are going to be hiking Hidden Villa. I know it's been a week since I posted, but don't relax. But if you didn't know, I am currently living inside a van, which ultimately gives me the freedom to literally live anywhere I want. I've been on the road for about a week now, but just yesterday, I was on a road trip of eight hours to make it from Bloxburg to this hidden villa. So let me take you back to yesterday on how I planned everything out. On May 7th, I began searching the internet for areas to visit waterfalls and go hiking. I discovered an area named Hidden Hills that was 8 hours away from Bloxburg. I decided to take a road trip down to the Hidden Hills to view this 5 star waterfall that everyone was talking about. I also took this chance to use my road trip as an excuse to explore other amazing places such as the beaches and lakes that I would encounter during my 8 hour journey. Following morning, I got up really early at 7 in the morning to breakfast and made my way to the gas station to fill up my tank. Gas was completely outrageous and out of this world after filling out my gas tank i finally began my adventure to the hidden hills i was super excited for this hike because as soon as i saw it online i was just like oh my gosh i need to be there in person go ahead and prepare for this self-guided tour because it is pretty big but i don't think i'll get lost right i think i've done pretty much a good amount of research according to me first things first let's change our outfits duh let me pull out these drawers here <laughs> my outfit for today's hike wearing my lululemon matching pink gym set obviously i'm taking my pink stanley cup so if i find like a bear or something i'll just hit them with my stanley i'll be like get away you know it's protection mm -hmm. my headphones another pair of headphones just in case the bear wants to take these headphones because they're prettier a bag that is going to contain my snacks and food water and drink and survival stuff you really never know with me like i honestly this adventure could be a self-guided but knowing myself oh i'll probably get lost enough yapping let's go ahead and make my food for this trip i really don't know what to pack i guess we'll just figure it out um uh, what do i have in here Ooh, can't go wrong with a juice box some fruit snacks fruit infused water water Duh. and i'm going to fry myself a grilled cheese sandwich as my main meal i'm only pack one so it's gonna be a little risky but i think we'll be fine right yummy i was literally about to eat it right now but then i remembered that this is literally my survival food oh my gosh but yeah that concludes my snack let me put all of that in my bag and let's start this hiking trip i am scared <laughs> to say the least that's like an understatement i don't even know what i'm using these words for but i'm just saying them because like people say them okay let me go <laughs> Yeah, we finally made it into like the first like i got the beginning of the trail like my biggest fear right now is bears what happens if i run out of food oh my god okay leave all those negative things here like they're not going inside with us all right i gotta start thinking more positively no we're gonna make it out through this yeah i always find a way um yeah so this is the hidden villa trail map I'm not gonna lie i'm a little confused i'm a little scared there's a lot of trails there's some bathrooms parking 0.5 kilometers or half a mile oh is it never eat soggy waffles i remember learning that in elementary school but like i, I don't know my southwest east or north um okay. let's start this hike y'all looks like there's some people on this trail as well which is so cool I literally haven't touched grass in like 20 years. <laughs> you guys, the whole entire day, I just be in my apartment, you know, decorating it, redecorating it, refurnishing it. That I forgot that this is nature, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I think I made it to my first destination, which is going to be the waterfall, which is was beautiful online. So, and that should be to my right. Here? <gasps> I think I see it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You going? <gasps> Look at this waterfall. <laughs> y'all, do y'all see this waterfall? Hold up. Don't play with nature. Mm -mm -mm. As you guys can probably tell, the waterfall is one of the biggest attractions here because there's like a lot of people. Some people are taking pictures, others are just admiring them, and I'm one of those people. This is why we should throw our trash away. Trash can. A lot of things us human beings have to fix and work on to continue protecting nature, earth in general. So if you can do something like, like not littering, by all means, please do so. Because then 
one day we won't be able to see these amazing beautiful views you know what i mean you're these birds or water or the waterfall like, trust me we, we need nature we need to touch grass it's essential you see she's breathing air right now <sighs> No, we actually need air. Okay, let's move on from this beautiful place. Go search for the next attraction. I was about to miss it. There's a tulip farm garden. This mountain. So let's go up it. I have an obsession with tulips. So this is very beautiful to me. Love every single little bit of it. Looks like someone is all tired because they're all stinky. But it's fine. Moving on. Another very popular main attraction here to see is this heart mountain shape because the mountain is shaped like a heart from birds from the bird's eye view. And inside there is some neon like crystals that light up and I am so excited to see that. Let's go inside and see what this is all about. Oh my god. <gasps> Y'all my eyes right now. I literally what even is this? Uh? What is this? My eyes can't. Wow. <laughs> wow. My eyes can't take in what the, what I'm looking at right now. Like I see that they're crystals that are neon and they're glowing because they're from the earth and like they're naturally grown. But I I I, I can't take it in. Like my eyes are. This is too crispy for me. Like I gotta get out of here before I touch. Like when I meant that I needed to touch grass, I meant I needed to touch grass, not be the grass. Let me get out of here. Oh my goodness. Let me know. I've never seen something so beautiful in my life. <laughs> I mean, not more beautiful than you, though. Like, I see you through the screen, I know. <laughs> Is no one gonna help me up? I guess not. Let's keep moving on. Ooh, there's like a whole lagoon. Okay. There's a cute little picnic area. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I don't know where my grocery sandwich is at. Like, where did it go? Probably one of them bears probably took it while I was over here at night. Like, oh my gosh, bro, leave me alone. Leave me my. So now all I have to eat is my fruit infused water, my juice box, and my fruit snacks. <laughs> That's not gonna fill me up, but we're gonna, yeah, I guess we'll just eat it. I'm going to fry myself a grilled cheese sandwich as my main meal. I'm only pack one, so it's gonna be a little risky, but I think. We'll be fine, right? I just finished having a five-star course meal. Very filling. Once I get back to my van, I am going to devour everything I have left in my cooler. Literally. Besides the point, what is trip without taking some Instagram photos? <laughs> I gotta take some Instagram photos. So let's go find a cute spot. I found the place where I'm gonna take my Instagram photos, which is obviously in front of the waterfall, because you know I just gotta flex to everyone that I'm in a waterfall. When is it that you're at a waterfall? Are you in a waterfall right now? I don't think so. Exactly, exactly. So I'm gonna take some photos. <laughs> Post them on my Instagram, because why not? If you don't already follow me on Instagram at I caught in cloud, make sure you do now because you don't wanna miss these bomb photos. Like <laughs> Thank you.